mind control, predictive programming and occult conditioning. Revelation of the method, predictive programming and the prime directive the method. July 22, 2015. By Zen Gardner. Contributing writer for Wake Up World. Revelation of the method, predictive programming and the prime directive. These are big subjects and well worth investigation. Knowing the mechanics of the matrix we find ourselves in is extremely empowering and liberating. There's a saying, if you're not wondering if you're under mind control, you probably are. Think about that one for a minute. I find that profoundly true. The truly awake and aware are so intensely conscious of their thoughts and impulses and the information coming at them that they question everything. And so it should be. We're in a massively manipulated world by forces many of which are beyond our comprehension. Knowledge-wise, we grasp much of what is at play. Experientially we understand even more. But intuitively we can really round out the picture. This is, if we dare to listen to our hearts and tune into the vast universal storehouse of true information. This inherent knowledge of the manipulated world around us is our greatest defense as well as weapon of recourse. Anyone who's truly woken up finds that out in a hurry. There are very interesting dynamics at play on this shifting playing field we're each encountering. Clearly the manipulators of control attempt to hide and disguise these techniques and occult realities, but as we become aware of them it's also important to not only expose them, but to fully understand them in order to help end the madness these psychopathic tyrants are exacting on humanity. The Revelation of the Method This is a fascinating concept. One that is revelatory yet potentially disturbing in some ways. The basic question is this. One does humanity literally give its permission for controlling forces to perpetrate what they do by being told in some form what is being done, or about to be done to it? Even if it's disguised from their conscious awareness in esoteric and occult messages? Too or are they simply being pre-programmed to accept what is about to unfold? Or both? There are two main levels from which to perceive this concept. The first is that preconditioning is simply a method to get the subjects to accept the agendas being implemented. The other is, without our explicit or even implied agreeance, these things cannot take place. While they work in concert and both beg humanity's compliance, those dynamics are powerfully different. Both require human awareness at different levels, yet the second more esoteric notion implies a sort of restrictive code whereby without agreeance any such takeover plan apparently would not be allowed to succeed. Let me just say for starters that I'm not so sure about that second one. It smacks of external reliance and everything that has distracted humanity from waking up in the first place. Just ask the innocent victims in Gaza and an entire world experiencing massive oppression and degradation. If permission was needed and there was some galactic code of conduct, we would have seen it from the get-go. Maybe it's time to get real about the conditions on our planet and stop over-spiritualizing reality away. It's time to demystify what is clearly more layers of manipulative energy extraction, rather than be dazzled by some kind of esoteric code. All of these tactics, to whatever extent they're real and influence us, need to be kept in a conscious perspective. Predictive Programming and Occult Conditioning Either way, as Robert Livingstone said, The preparation of humanity for the New Age involves psychological and physical warfare in the form of spectacular crimes and events that, filtered through the I Illuminist media, have a ritual occult and initiatory effect on the populace. Here's a short explanation of the first definition. Revelation of the method is basically an occult truth that more of an effect can be garnered from an event if that event is made aware to the person who you plan on affecting before it happens, usually at a subconscious level. The subconscious mind can actually pick up on imperceptible elements to the conscious mind that hint at future plans. In this way it is possible to sow acceptance through subconscious exposure to numbers and symbols as presented in the media. 9 11 is the perfect example as it was featured in May different shows before it happened to plant the seed subconsciously, and the intended effects of 9 11 social change, cannot be denied. Source Very interesting, and at the least that aspect is very, very true. One sure thing to be wary of is being played. Here's another very deep aspect of this phenomenon. Researcher Michael Hoffman defines twilight language as follows in his Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare, the path to unlocking this gnosis was centered in twilight language, a once nearly universal subliminal communication system used in Egypt, Babylon, the Indian subcontinent and among the Aztecs, consisting of a combination of numbers, archetypal words, and symbols, which in our time are sometimes embedded in modern advertising, and in certain modern films and music. Ritual is obsession in motion. Obsessive people are walking rituals and what they attract coincidentally, 
aids to their obsessions. If this is done consciously and the obsession happens to coordinate with the trend and tendency of the time, a lot more coincidental magnification will be forthcoming. Coincidence can be summoned. It is a matter of attention and timing. First you must be aware of believing in and observing the mechanism of coincidence when it agrees with your work, then you coordinate what you're working on with what you were predestined to do. When you start to see the pattern of coincidence and it becomes a language for you, you have either become an initiate or a schizophrenic, take your pick, because you lose the protection of materialism our own protection against the disordering of the arrangement we've given to the world to make it manageable. Ibid, 130. Very interesting insights, and clearly something that has been enacted upon humanity for a long, long time. Is there a universal code they're bound to? Revelation of the method, predictive programming and the prime directive esoteric code. Is there something even deeper involved working at the same time? Is it a universal precept of some sort they must conform to? I don't know. I've run across this dynamic for many years. It may speak to some people, especially those who've dared to delve into the bowels of trying to ascertain an esoteric understanding of this temporal reality in which we're embroiled. The universe is after all orderly in its own dynamic yet seemingly chaotic way. There are mechanisms at work according to apparent guidelines or patterns such as fractal geometry as well as some sort of a fundamentally plasmic magnetic vibrational nature. We're still learning. But why can't that apply to morals and existential behavioral aspects of even the free-willed agents spawned by our amazing source? Aren't we growing and learning and evolving to different and often higher levels of realization? A concept very much worth our consideration in the grand, as well as immediate, scheme of things. It portends to be a source of empowerment. Yet the profound underlying inescapable reality most do not want to face is that humanity is in no way off the hook as to its response, whatever the underlying reality of forces at work. Consciousness and free will attest to this. A prime directive? Here's a quick explanation on the prime directive. Direct intervention with people on primitive and spiritually evolving planets, Earth being a good example, is not allowed. Other beings are permitted only to observe emerging civilizations. A long-standing edict prohibits the unauthorized or forcible colonization of planets. However, in some cases, benevolent Ebes have chosen to intervene in certain affairs in order to ensure the longevity of an observed planet and civilization. Although the Ebes seem to have no interest in conquering Earth, or in controlling the population of this planet, it does serve their interests to ensure that the resources of Earth are not destroyed or spoiled. To that end, Certain Ebes have been sent to Earth on reconnaissance missions from time to time to gather information. Fair enough. But is it true? Or is it just another way of putting off our response? That there are more worlds than meet the eye I am certain. However some sort of code of non-interference, if there would be one, clearly is not being adhered to as evidenced by the invasive species of whatever origin, homegrown or alien empowered, that are in the last stages of hijacking our planet. I know there's a lot of channeled and otherwise received information in the V-Bosphere claiming knowledge of galactic civilizations and their intentions, but I'm going to somewhat lay that aside here. Let me just say that such a concept of some sort of galactic code defies free will and would ultimately outlaw any and all rogue elements, just as we see acting in wanton diabolical ways in front of our faces every day. It may apply to some more advanced civilizations in some form, but we're sure not seeing it on this planet. But I digress. My point here has to do with our responsibility as a race to wake up and respond to what's happening to us and not lay back and wait for some faraway cavalry to arrive and save humanity. That ploy has been successfully used for eons by debilitating religions and belief systems and is largely responsible for the mess our planet is in today. With that way of thinking just about anything or anyone can waltz in strutting some superpowers and pull a few magic tricks and voila the pre-programmed, debilitated masses will jump for it, as has happened throughout history and we're apparently being set up for right now. Prophecy, Prediction, or Causation There's a lot of esoteric information regarding these very important topics. Prophecy alone has had incredibly profound effects on the followers of religious teachings, as have the works of seers such as Nostradamus or other psychics. Within the dark occult world you'll find a plethora of mechanisms to divine knowledge of the future, but even more on how to attempt to direct events to bring on those desired by the ill-intentioned. The blurry bleed over and progression from prophecy to prediction to actual causation is what needs to be noted. Social engineering is a vast, even scientific, phenomenon. That humanity has been steered and manipulated and literally harvested for eons by selfing controllers is a historical fact. Whether for its manpower or psychic and spiritual energy, 
the vast majority of humankind has been corralled and drained by vampiric parasites throughout the ages. Is that repeating cycle coming to a close? The answer is up to us, which unfortunately is not something anyone waiting for a savior or galactic rescue squad wants to hear. Predictive programming and playing on archetypes. Revelation of the method, predictive programming and the prime directive archetypes. And how do they keep us compliant? There's a host of methods as anyone reading this is no doubt aware. But the deeper psychological methods are important to understand. Carl Jung identified archetypes as collectively inherited unconscious ideas or patterns of thought. Assuming these to be real to whatever extent, you can see why social engineers would have a field day playing on such shared tendencies. Which they do. This is what the whole field of psychology is about. Not always to interfere in a negative way, but we all know there are those who weaponize everything they can get their hands on, and mind manipulation is one of their favorite tools. Predictive programming is another vector of assault. It's very subtle as it is usually cloaked in science fiction and ornately wrapped in the glittery garb of stimulating entertainment. It's become a fascination for people to witness totalitarian and dystopian futures and watch the end of the world brought on by everything from plagues, global warming, or an ice age, to meteor impacts and alien invasions. This is programming. Familiarizing the target audience with potential outcomes in a milieu that serves their purpose. One of fear and fatalistic acceptance. It's nothing but conditioning disguised as entertainment. That entire industry is controlled by the same manipulators, steering mankind by the nose in any direction they want. The sheer bombardment of mind-numbing genres of soul-polluting films and TV shows from vampire and slasher flicks, war and police glorification memes, to end-of-the-world scenarios is beyond overwhelming. For the unwary. On top of this the news media continually pump out assumptive information directing the audience towards their desired conclusions. Their carefully scripted narrative is obvious to the discerning eye, not only in the news but it runs through every facet of society from media to schooling to even the products people consume, right up to and including which toys children are to play with. The point is we're being programmed for a desired future. Not one we desire, one they desire. The more blindly familiar people are with their intended result the more quickly and easily it will be adopted. The world facing a major cataclysm of some sort, a favorite theme, gives the climate change fear program and world economic solution tremendous impetus, for example. The world needing a savior mentality greases the idea of some sort of new world governance to save the day, no doubt with some charismatic leader eventually at the helm. That may be a bit oversimplified but that's how it works. Conscious permission? Or cowardly acquiescence? This is where the rubber meets the road. Whether programmed in whatever fashion or not, we are free agents. Try as they will with occult practices or social and media manipulation, the sanctity of the human spirit cannot be violated. Unless we allow it. Any way you look at this issue, the power is ours. We are the control center, not the self-ordained psychopathic rulers or whatever influences we're being bombarded by. We each individually have the controls. Understanding how they work via the media, entertainment, occult practices, and outright admissions is intrinsic to our awakening to the empowerment available to us. To just lay down and take it for any reason, engineered or so-called ordained or not, is tantamount to suicide and ultimately genocide and a complete techver. That we have so much enlightening information and connectivity at our disposal is unheard of in human history. Let's have the courage to utilize it and activate our lives accordingly. Your future and that of humanity and our planet depend on it. The Savior lies within each one of us. Rise like lions after slumber. Much love, Zen.